You are now watching the It's Reese Live. You feel episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And today we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies. Talk oh, to them. Okay. Talk to them. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go ahead and be bringing out some single men. They're going to come. Ever since the um, Love Live served, they said they only put black people on the show. Now I'm on notice in it. Now I noticed that. I don't know how I noticed that before, but now I notice it. They only helping black people find love or embarrass themselves. Whatever happened in first. Bruh, because you're stupid. Name three Kendrick Lamar songs. Sing About Me. Squimming Pools. Bitch Don't Kill My Vibe. Come on, man. I'm the GOAT. You fucker. Because <laughs> you ain't got your hearts to the street. Because only black people be this bored and jobless. That is a level of racism I did not expect this stream to get to. He said black people are the most bored and jobless. Oh my God. Call the police. They probably wouldn't even help in this situation. They'll make it worse. So, how about you shut your face up? Gun to your head, spit a Birdman verse. Birdman, I fly in any weather. Leave me the fuck alone. I don't one know. One by one. And when he comes around, you know, if he's your type, you know, the height, you know, beard, facial hair, whatever it is, you're feeling. Height, beard, face you hair on him do not pop your balloon but if there's anything that's just like oh no this is not my guy go ahead and pop it and i'll go over to each of you see why you ended up popping y'all ready okay let's get some matches that was a lie so let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy is hello welcome in i'll have you hold that he bald why she pop what's your name my name is alistair Alistair, how old are you? I'm 36 years old. 36, okay, and what do you do? I'm a deputy sheriff. All right, okay, and what are some things you- Oh, they don't like the police. Like to do, and what are some things you- 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 For fun. I like to travel. I like to go on trips. Okay. <laughs> and I It's Reese, shut up. Things you look for in a woman. Um, someone that's intelligent, yep. very laid back, yep. knows what she wants, yep. mm -hmm. can allow me to lead. Yeah. Okay. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Reese My twin. deal breakers will be smokers. Mm. That's the number one thing, okay. smokers. Got it. Okay. So we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over to these ladies and see why they ended up popping, yes. okay? All right. Let's yes. start over here. If we can have your name and age. Alexis, and I'm 29. Okay. And Alexis, what do you do? I'm a realtor. Nice. Now, uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, he just didn't really see. He is upset. What is, show some emotion. Smile a little bit. Seemed like too much my type, and um, I don't know about the police, honestly. Whoa! <laughs> but you're an attractive man, so, you know, no thank hard feelings. Thank you, thank you, thank <laughs> you. All right, and now, Alistair, is Alexis someone that's your type? Of course. Very attractive, very beautiful. It is someone that I will approach. Okay. Thank right. you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, let's go on to our next pop balloon over here. Funny. Okay, if we can have your name and age. My name is Tiffany, and I'm 26 years old. Okay. And Tiffany, what do you do? I am an exotic dancer, but I use my money from exotic dancing to fund my business ventures. Ooh. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. And now, mm -hmm. uh, what do you end up popping your balloon? Nice. Well, first of all, what? he said that he don't, you know, like smokers. I'm a big smoker, and I don't think. You know, the police and an exotic dancer would mix. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, I like the way you're built. Does build. the host have you know, a name? I like the age. Does the host have a The producer of the show is her husband. You talking about man, she married. I'm, I'm into older men, mm. so. Okay, got Thank it. Thank you, thank you. And now, Alistair, is uh, Tiffany someone that's your type? Of course, very beautiful, very attractive. So definitely thank someone you. I'll approach. Okay, got it. So she's an exotic dancer, police don't mix. Is, is that <laughs> is that something that would stop you from approaching her if you knew that? No. Okay. No, this is oh, perfectly see? fine. 
It's definitely thank a seminal you. approach. Very beautiful, very attractive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you. Bro, Let's go I gotta over take here. this shit off. Okay, we can have your name and age. Yes, hi, I'm C and I'm 36. And C, what do you do? I'm in medical sales. All right. okay. And so why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, well, I just have to give it to you. You were the first guy to come out and I know that we can only pick one guy, so I'm just waiting. Oh, wow. You, you gonna just play the field? Okay. But is he someone that is your type? Um, maybe if I got to know him a little bit better, but... He sound like a fruity version of you. Thank you, Chad. Uh, Dumbass. You know, right now I'm just waiting. Okay. All right. So, uh, Alistair, is she someone that is your type? A very respectable individual. Looks like you can have a great conversation. Hey, hey. And I like that. Very beautiful. Very attractive. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's go on to our next lady. So if I we can have your name on. and age. My name is Nkiru, and I'm 32 years old. Where's she from? And what do you do? I work with a pharmaceutical company as a monitor. Okay, very nice. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I don't know. He's just not my type. What is mushroom hair called? It's, it's a bot, bop, a bop, a bot, a bot. A bob. It's a bob. I know. My ears is to the street. Goofy ass chat ain't think I knew that. I, come on, chat. Just because I ain't got no hair don't mean my ears ain't to the streets. Like, just, I don't know. If I'm basing off of looks, he's just not my type. Stupid okay. ass. And Shut what up. about him is not really your type? Uh, I don't really know. I just, I just don't feel the connection. Okay. Yes. Okay. And now, same thing, Alistair. Is she someone that you would approach? Uh, she's very respectable, very beautiful. I believe all the women here are beautiful. What? Okay. What's she popping for? You don't have to stink and be alone, Kevin. Is it because he think the young ladies are beautiful? Why is she pop, pop, popping? Next lady over here, if we can have your name and age. My name is Danielle, and I'm 35. Okay. Danielle, what do you do? I work at Human Resources. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, honestly, it's because he's the police. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, so apart from him being a police officer, he is someone that is your type? Yeah, I mean, I don't necessarily go off of like, uh, looks per se, so if we had a- Does that mean he ugly? When somebody tell you they attracted to you because they don't care about looks, how does that make you feel? Is that supposed to be a compliment? Like, all right, yeah, that's okay. That's, that's weird to say. That's weird. A conversation, maybe. Okay, but all right. He probably least. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Alistair, I know you said everyone's beautiful, but is she someone that's your type? If you saw her out, you'd approach her? Uh, yes, I will approach her. Okay, and how we see this police thing is taking you out. Like, is that ever a problem when it comes to dating? I uh, know law enforcement is a very, you know, skeptical career to be in. Yeah. Um, I respect everyone. I joined this career because this was a calling for me. Yeah. And I like what I do. Okay, good. I'm a protector. So if you need someone to protect you, I'm someone to protect you. Period. <laughs> All right, let's go back this way. We did get a pop. If we can have your name and age. Caprice, 32. Okay, and Caprice, what do you do? I am a certified Christian life coach. Okay. And I Play that back. Okay, and Caprice, what do you do? I am a certified Christian life coach. What does that mean? The exotic dancer didn't even confuse me. This confuses me. I don't know what this means. I really don't know what this job means. Okay. And now why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, just initially just wasn't enough bass in your voice. Mike Tyson syndrome got his ass. What did they pop over there for? He just chilling. Okay. Okay. Alistair? I feel like I know what you're about to say, <laughs> but <laughs> you approach her if you see her out. Oh, she a personal pastor. Oh, um, I'm respectable to everyone. I give everyone a chance to get to know you, sit down, have a conversation, let you know my goals in life and ask you your goals in life. And if we do match, we take it further from there. All right. Did I get everyone back here? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We do have one more pop balloon back here. If we can have your I name. one back name. that way. My too. name is Lexi and I'm 27. Hey. Lexi, what do you do? I am a full-time biomedical science student and a birth doula. Oh, nice. Okay, and now why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, um, unlike everybody else, like the police thing didn't really bother me, mm. but like as I like kind of walked, it was like kind of like the haircut in the back is like not fully cut.
How's she gonna pop the balloon? Cause he missed a spot. <laughs> This motherfucker missed a little section in there. <laughs> she said, I pop because you you ain't cut it all the way. That's fucked up, man. That's actually, that's messed up. And then the chap lips. Oh, his lips is crusty. She on his ass. Appreciate the $5 Rasta. Okay. It's kind of a okay. thing for me. So, <laughs> yeah. I got it. Okay. That's Alistair, <laughs> we all already know I'm your a, lines by now. <laughs> I'm respectable to criticism. That's that's, you know, that's who I am as a person. Mm. You know, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. You know, I'm from the Caribbean, so we're used to criticism. And but you know, you're a beautiful individual, and I'm thankful for having me out here. And you all are very beautiful. Thank you. I'm a very respectful person. So definitely Thank someone you. I'll approach. <laughs> okay. Thank you. And then we did get one last one down here. Is there any left? Who got a book? Nobody. All right, if we can have your name and age. Damn! Kiana, 32. And Kiana, what do you do? Um, well, I'm in the health health field, mm -hmm. CNA, also in real estate, and I'm the supervisor at a, a shoe store. So, okay. yeah. Very nice. Very busy. Run that back. I'm the supervisor at a mm -hmm. CNA, also in real estate, and I'm the supervisor at a... Oh. A shoe store so okay. yeah very nice very busy <laughs> and now why did you end up popping your balloon um i just felt like sticking to the code you know i didn't have no problem with the law enforcement and whatnot but i don't know just feel like i should be sticking to a code or you know okay. what do you mean by sticking to the code what just that that's honestly like you know i just felt like everybody kind of reminded me what she popped a balloon because of peer pressure. Nobody else wanted him, so she don't want him. What you talking about, man? Everybody reminded me. Nobody said nothing to you. Everybody reminded me. What is this? She not helping the the the, the saying that people if uh, if no girl wants you then no girl wants you but if one girl wants you every girl could want you. Why she playing into that stereotype? She goofy. Come on, man. God damn it. And whatnot. So yeah, that's just life. So. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused. It reminded <laughs> you of what? <laughs> no, because, um, you know, I'm just mentioning about him being in law enforcement. And um, so I just felt, although I don't see it as a problem. Then it's not a problem for you. There's always been a history behind it. Mm. So I just would just follow that. I, see. I don't follow too many, but I'll follow that. So, yeah. Uh, Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Please let me give you a okay, PDL. Cool. Shut so, up. Sir, is she someone that you would approach if you saw her out? Yeah, I'm very respectable for every uh. individual that I meet. I'm okay. very respectable. Got it. Thank you. Thank All you right. for having me. Thank you. All right. Let's go on back. So Life sucks, man. We don't need to see nothing else. All right. Let's go to the next guy. And what's your name? I'm Will. <laughs> Did he start singing? What the fuck? <laughs> Talk about, talk about, talk about. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm Will. <laughs> I'm Will. Sorry? Will. Welcome in. What's your name? I'm Will. Sorry? Will. Sorry? Will. Will, okay, Will, how old are you? I'm 31. I just turned 31 about three weeks ago. Okay, all right. And what do you I'm do, Will? Will? I am a civil litigation paralegal in the last semester of law school. Okay, congrats. Almost done. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, I look for someone that is revealing. I don't like someone too shy or uh, reserved. It's a little bit tough to get to know. Okay. I also like a, uh, a progressive woman and uh, someone kind. Not I'm Will. Okay. And now, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, someone unkind. Someone <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm a pretty, uh, I have standards, but I don't have, uh, I'm a pretty chill guy. Got it. I'm mm -hmm. like a, a normal, normal person. Okay. All right, cool. So I'm Will. Pop balloons. Let's go on over to those ladies and see yes, what's going on. Yes, all right, if we can have your name and age. Alexis, I'm 29. Okay, and Alexis, why did you end up popping your balloon? 
Um, I just feel like the physical attraction wasn't too much there. Like, I think we almost the same height. Mm. How tall are you? I'm 5'8". Oh, okay. Well, I guess <laughs> these heels are doing something, but a little too short for my liking, but okay. you look good. She just yapping, man. He literally taller than her goofy ass. I'm talking about the heels is doing something to her. She yapping. They look totally different in height. It's not even close. They're not even head to head. Like he is towering over her. I guess these heels are doing something, but a <laughs> little too short for my liking, but okay. you look good. Oh, well, thank you, thank you, thank you. And how tall are you? I'm five feet. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's goofy, man. Y'all are silly. I give y'all that. Y'all are silly. But I mean, we look a little. Y'all don't look like anything. <laughs> it ain't what you think that is. He taller than you, clearly. Level, kind of. Mm, okay. <laughs> she said, mm. But I mean, we look a little level, kind of. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, Will is uh, is she someone that is your type? Uh, yes, ma'am. She she's very beautiful. Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, thank you. All right, let's go on to our she next lady over here. If we can have your name and age, I'm Lexi, and I'm 27. Okay, and Lexi, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I popped it because he said that he wanted someone that was easy to get to know, and I am a little bit hard to get to know. Why? He asked you a question, you're not going to answer it? What you mean you are hard to get to know? I don't understand that. Um, aside from that, like, he's really handsome, and, like, the height didn't really bother me either, but I am a little bit hard to get to know. How? I don't get how. How are you hard to get to know? What you going to send him a puzzle? What's your name? Discover this. <laughs> you going to put it on a Rubik's Cube? I don't get it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't mean, uh, well, if I could explain. Of so I, I don't mean uh, anyone that is, uh, I guess, available to anybody. Of course, you have to be selective. But as far as dating, you do want to get to know somebody. And dating is already a bit of a task in itself. So to add those unnecessary um, boundaries, it's a, it's a bit difficult to deal with. Understandable. Okay. <laughs> and now, is she someone that is your type? Yes, ma'am, definitely. I like tall women, too. So. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's. Because he like tall women, she popped it. Go on over to our next pop balloon. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. Caprice, 32. Okay. And Caprice, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, he said he liked tall women. I'm clearly fun sized just shot itself in the foot because now she over here being goofy we know what he meant when he said that the height wasn't an issue but obviously if somebody's shorter than him that's not an issue either oh my god I'm... you know he didn't mean it like that <laughs> she don't care oh my god I'm... he said he liked tall women i'm clearly fun sized oh my god I'm... oh my god oh my god i'm will you know he didn't mean it like that. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, I mean. Okay. <laughs> so apart from him saying that, is he someone that is your type, though? Uh, yes, he's attractive, nice teeth, very beautiful smile, love the color scheme. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Now she's someone that is your type? Yes, man, definitely. Mm. She, 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 she pretty fly. I like that. Okay, all right, cool. I like Crazy the lady. Too. Thanks. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I mean, you did say he is your type. You kind of misheard him a little bit when he said he said he doesn't mind tall women. He don't discriminate against height. Mm. Don't try to make her get a balloon back. She made her decision. Fake ass Savannah James. Get her out of here. Okay, I'll give him another try. Oh, okay, let's get that balloon back. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we'll be back for you. <laughs> let's go to our next lady. If we can have your name and age. I'm C and I'm 36. Okay. And C, why did you pop your balloon? I would just prefer a guy that's just a little bit taller. Okay. okay. All right. Now, is C someone that's your type? Yes, ma'am. Very, okay. very beautiful skin. She pretty fly. Yeah, I like, she, she got some style to her, too. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Let's go to our next lady Love over from here. South Africa. You can have your Appreciate name and age. It. My name is Nkira, and I'm 32. Okay. And Nkira, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, same thing as well. Did she pop it again? 
of her heart. Like same thing she said, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Just the height difference. Mm, yes. Okay. Got it, got it. Now she's someone that you would approach if you saw her out? Yes, ma'am, I would. Okay. I would. All right. And so what makes her kind of your type? Uh, like I said, I don't, I don't mind a uh, height or anything like that. She's very beautiful. She looks well put together as well. Mm -hmm. So, okay. thank you. Definitely. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm watch. She, she up to no good. She wanna pop the balloon. Why he can't talk about height? She making side eye. Every time he mentioned tall, look at her. <laughs> look at her. She suspicious. What, what did he do? All right, thank you. If we can have your name and age. I'm Danielle and I'm 35. Okay. And Danielle, why did you pop your balloon? I don't particularly want a short king either. Here we go with <laughs> but the king I think shit. he's very handsome. Okay. Everything about him is really spot on. Just I just, I'm 5'7", so we about the same height. So, <laughs> <laughs> so but. Okay, got it. No. I feel like I know what you're about to say, but I'm still ask anyway. Is she someone that's your type? Yes, ma'am. I'd okay. approach her. Okay, okay. And what makes her your type? Uh, she pretty, pretty nice build. She got a nice smile. She seems personable as well. Yeah. Okay. Cool. What? You don't Let's even know her. Next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. Kiana, 32. Okay. And Kiana, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, I mean, I seen him from afar, so I was thinking maybe he's not too short. I, I, too short and but then you know i'm five nine and with heels i'm like six one so yeah my apologies got it <laughs> <laughs> okay now well is she someone that is your type yes ma'am and i i wouldn't mind a height but even with heels <laughs> on so i know but, but yeah oh no no she i don't, don't want to convince you to change Chat. ease up she is just trying to find love for all the wrong reasons let her find love chat Damn! What are y'all doing? <laughs> oh no! no, no. Yeah. I... Well, thank you though. Okay. okay. Thank you. All right. Let's head back this way. So we still do have two unpopped balloons. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question, just to kind of help you see which one is more of your match. Okay. Uh. So, what do you ladies look for in a man? Mm. Okay, let's start with your name and age and what do you look for in a man? My name is Tiffany and I'm 26 and what I look for in a man is like a leader, a guider, someone who can give me knowledge and take from what I give them too. Also someone who wants to build pretty much. Yeah. I like that. I like that. I okay. like that. All right. <laughs> we got your name and age earlier. So what are some things you look for in a man? What I look for in a man is a man of integrity, a man of character, a man that know how to cultivate the woman God called me to be, a man that know how to have a kind and gentle spirit. What the hell? Things you look for in a man. What I look for in a man is a man of integrity, a man of character, a man that know how to cultivate the woman God called me to be. I'm confused. I don't even know what that means. A man that know how to have a kind and gentle spirit and know how to have fun. That's good. I like a woman with a little edge to it, too, so. That's, okay, that's okay. Good. <laughs> Ladies, any questions for him? Okay. So what's most important to you, physical attraction or mental stimulation? Uh, mental stimulation, if I could, if I could uh, be a bit uh, honest, hopefully it don't sound too lewd, but uh, I think when in the future when I'm no longer, uh, say, as active, as I am, I look for someone that I could talk about anything with and every nothing with. Okay. You good? Mm hmm Okay. What about for you? He in this bag! Do you mind a woman with kids? No, I don't. No, I guess I should have said that as well. I have a 10-year-old, so... Okay, if, and if the, this follow-up question, you only have one? Yeah. Okay, good. We don't need more than one baby mama. <laughs> <laughs> so do you have kids? Yes, I have a 2-year-old. Oh, okay. Well, congratulations right. on to being a <laughs> All right. Any further questions before I have you pop one of them? Uh, oh, so I, I, I do live in, in Florida. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So long Damn. distance, I'm guessing, is a no. It's only because I really like I'm I'm a, I'm a clingy person. Mm -hmm. Like I'm very I'm a Gemini. I want to be loved like all, I want all the attention. Gemini. So it's kind of hard to do that when you're. What did she throw the Gemini thing in there for? Far away. Mm, okay. Is that going to be a problem for you? It doesn't bother me. Oh. You live here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. You want to stay? Hmm? You want to stay? Independent if you give me a reason to leave. She's open.
Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let me just bring you on up here. Come on up, come on up. <laughs> it's working out All for right, him so, so far. Any final questions between the, either one of you before? I have a question. Yeah. So in this season of your life, what makes you believe that you're ready for love? Uh, because I have made myself available to it and my heart is open for it. I've done a, a, a lot of things in my life, a 10-year army vet as well. So I've been a, a lot, a lot of places. And I believe that I've accomplished most of the things I want to accomplish on my own. Okay. like that answer. He in his bag! Let's go! Let's go! He cooking! They trying to hate on him. Oh, he too short. He this, he that. He LeBron out there. He hooping. Let's go. Come on, man. Hey, so is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Ah, is it a yes for you for her? Yes, ma'am. We got it. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> All right, I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Oh. <laughs> Talking about ooh. That man had to fight a battle to win that war. <laughs> that man been through hell. He walked up and down that line. She popped her balloon, had to convince her to get it back. Had to go through hula hoops to get to that spot right there. Damn, they did not make it easy for him. Holy shit, and the battle just begun. They ain't even going to date yet. That's the problem. He went through hell just to get to the first date. <laughs> and nobody's saying anything is guaranteed after that. Golly. Chat, we got to watch the NBA draft. If you don't like basketball, you got to go.